Hi, this is Mrs. McGlinty. So today we're going to be painting some calendula flowers. And these are calendulas I picked from my garden. They're a beautiful little flower and they come up each year. And they have many good healing uses as well as being beautiful. So the colors we're going to be using today, we're going to be using our golden yellow, the carmine red, and we're going to be using the lemon yellow and a new color, the Prussian blue. If you don't have the Prussian blue, which we're going to use as kind of a light aqua color, you could also use the ultramarine blue. We'll be using the flat brush today or Peter paintbrush, and then the round brush, Tiny Tim. Also, it would be good if you have a mixing tray like this so we can mix our orange and our green. Let's go ahead and start with our verse. Colors shine around us. One, two, three. Colors shine around us from earth and sea and sky. Pale and light, deep or bright, they show us Earth's glory and her might. Let me tell you a little bit about calendula. So there's no question how important calendula garden flowers have been in most recent history and in the past. Europeans and early American colonists relied on calendula's sunny disposition and gentle immune boosting properties for protection against the damp cold of winter. It's a common pot herb, meaning it was often used in soups and stews, as well as a regular ingredient in daily herbal teas and beauty treatments. You can easily make a calendula oil just like you would make the St. John's wort oil, and then you can apply it to the skin or you can use it in a salve. Calendula has also been revered as a magical medicinal for centuries as well. Ancient Egyptians used calendula to rejuvenate the skin. The Greeks and Romans use it as a culinary garnish. And in ancient as well as modern India, calendula is often strung into garlands for weddings and religious rituals. In Elizabethan times, they would strew calendula under the bed and it was said to offer you protection from harm. And when dealing with legal matters, it was considered wise to carry a bit of calendula in your pocket to ensure a positive outcome. Bathing in calendula bath was thought to give a healthy, sunny glow that would draw admiration and respect from everyone you met. So let's go ahead and paint the calendula flowers. So I have a simple sketch that I've drawn out here. And I'm going to put my wet paper onto my painting board. So I have a simple sketch that I've drawn out here. And now I'm going to go ahead and dry. So we want the paper to be moist, but we don't want to have puddles. Make sure you have your cloth here to dry your brushes on. Let's go ahead and start with the background. So I'm going to get my brush wet and I'm going to take a little bit of water off on the sides. And I'm just going to dip the tip into the lemon yellow. So this is the golden light that flowers need to grow from the sun. And we're just going to put that around the edges like this. And now let's go ahead and rinse our brush thoroughly. And now we're going to dip just the tip into the Prussian blue. So this represents the rain and moisture 
that all plants need to grow. And you can see when the two colors meet, they make a beautiful green. Rinsing off my brush really well. Let me get a little bit more of that yellow and blend this side in just a little bit more. Okay, now let's take some clear water. Soften that edge, a little clear water. Mince my brush really well. Take a little off on the sides of the jar. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with the blue. All right, we're ready to paint. So we clean off Peter paintbrush and dry his feet and we go ahead and pick up a tiny Tim and we're going to start with painting the petals. So you can either start with a sketch or you can just paint. I always wipe a little bit of the color off on the sides of the jar so I don't get too much paint. Okay, let's do the other one. Sometimes you might want to leave a little bit of white space in between some of the petals. If you look at the edge of the calendula petals, they have a little bit of a toothed edge, so we can kind of go like this. We don't have to do all the petals, but we could do a few. Let's go ahead and mix our green now. So we're gonna take some of the lemon yellow. And let's put that on our mixing tray. And I'm gonna rinse my brush really well. 
dry it and take up some of the Prussian blue. We can make a beautiful green color. Okay, let's go ahead and paint the leaves. Remember, we want to take a little bit of extra color off on the sides. So what watercolor does best is to flow and the yellow is going to flow into the green, but that's what makes it so beautiful. And there's a stem coming down here. So let's make sure we put the points on our leaves here. So if your calendula leaves are starting to grow into your background, you can just dab it off just like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we need to make an orange. I'm rinsing my brush really, really well, drying it. And I'm going to get a little bit of the golden yellow this time. Don't need too much. Rinse your brush. Dry it. And a little bit of the red. And this is going to be the center of our flower. Okay. I'm going to dry my brush really well. And I'm going to dot on some color here. And we can put just a little bit between some of the petals here. All right, well, let's go ahead and sign our name. And I hope you enjoyed painting these calendula flowers. And I'll look forward to painting with you again. Bye-bye.